Ellie had a job interview. Despite not nailing the interview, she learned an important lesson, which is how to learn a language. That is why she developed her own system to help others with learning Chinese. Her manager advised her that successful people never give up and failure is an opportunity to learn. That is why she started her own business in helping others learn Chinese. Let's listen from Ellie. How many of you think language learning is hard? And how many of you think it takes years to learn another language? I certainly thought that when I started uh, learning English and after learning English for nine years, I found myself couldn't speak and that hit me really, really hard. Um, I remember that was my second job. So um, I was uh, my first job was a teacher. I was trained for five years to be a teacher and I, um, I was a high school teacher for one year and then my second job was doing business, international business, right? And then third month uh, to the, um, to the job, we had a customer uh, from the States uh, came to visit our factory. So he asked me so many questions and I was just like, oh my gosh, I, I could just answer yes or no and some simple words. And I'm like, I couldn't speak. And I just felt so bad. Um, so of course that interview didn't, uh, sorry, of course that uh, visit didn't go well. Um, and I went home, I was just cried, um, lying down on my bed for like two hours. I was like, you know, when you try so hard for something and you, you thought, oh, this is not just not working for me because I, I came from an educational background. I thought business, I can't do business because I can't, I can't speak. After learning for so many years, I couldn't speak. So I really like question myself, question my, my learning ability. And I have so many dreams at that moment. It's like all crushed. So the following week, I just felt so bad and disappointed and feeling down. And after a week, uh, my boss, her name is Margaret. She called me in her office and she asked me, how is everything going? Of course, I said the, the visit didn't go well and we might lost the customer, lost the sale. Um, and then she said, that's okay. Um, and she said, she asked me, she said, um, Ellie, do you know what billionaires think differently with average people? I said, I don't know. And she said, they never think failure is failure. Because I sense that she might know that I probably want to give up um, because she's, a, she's kind of a relative. Um, and then she asked me, um, she said, they, they never give up. And then that, that just made me think. So that's not my failure, right? And I shouldn't give up. And then I remember I left her office. I'm, I'm thinking that I've been thinking like I'm really dumb, like, like dumb as in mute. I couldn't speak English, right? And also dumb because I've been learning English for so many years. I, I couldn't, I couldn't speak. I'm really stupid. But after, after the talk with her, I think things changed. I feel like I, from, I was from like a dumb Ellie to a decisive Ellie. So I have decided that I'm not going to give up and I'm, I'm not going to think this is my failure. So that changed everything. And I, I start to think, how could I make it work, right? And then I started to um, talk to my colleagues who were chatting. And so we found the pattern. So the comes, when the customers come, they normally ask this kind of questions. And then I just practice on those questions. And after two to three weeks, I found myself speaking from here to there. So that's, that's my experience. Um, it doesn't, it, it doesn't really matter how long, how many years you study. What it matters is 
how what what are you practicing on, right? So um, that's why I created um, a course called Speak Chinese in uh, just in twenty one days because study yes it doesn't work right. You might remember, and people we, we all know that if you learn a second language at school, like one week, one week you learn uh, something, and then uh, the next week you learn something else, and then you kind of forget what you learn in between, right? And the twenty-one days is like day after day, right? It's, it's intentionally a focus on speaking. So if you focus on that, you can really, really get results. Whether it's learning about the Chinese culture, utilizing what you learn into practice or continual practice and application of what you learn. These are some of the principles that drive Ellie's system for learning Chinese. Let's listen. I do have a system. So uh, my system, we have three pillars, this system, right? The first pillar is learning about the culture, right? Culture is the most important thing because we see the world differently. If you don't understand the culture, you might think, oh, why, why do you do what they do? That's really weird, right? But when you understand the culture, you're like, oh, I know why, wh I know what, where that came from, right? And, and you know their values. That means you can communicate and connect with them better. This is the first pillar. So learning about the culture is, is the key, really, really important. And, and the second pillar is speaking, right? Speaking in, in 21 days. So after you understand the culture, it actually helps you to know what, um, what, what's important, what, what's important, right? What to learn. Um, then you know, um, okay, for example, in Chinese culture, we value family very much. So you're like, okay, I'm going to practice some speaking about families, right? And another thing Chinese people love is food. So you're like, okay, <laughs> let's learn, um, let's learn, talk about food, right? So, so that 21 days, you know exactly what you want to learn. And also you want to know how to express yourself, everything about you. Right. This, these are the things you want to be um, practicing on um, because this is most relevant to you. And that's what you normally talk to people with. Right. And you know the culture part. You know how to connect with them and communicate th with them. And then the third pillar is what I call to utilize your language and, and cult cross culture skills to have more success in your business and life. Um, I feel like not many people talk about this um, because imagine, okay, you know how to speak the language, you know something about the culture, but if you don't utilize it, it's a waste, right? But if you do utilize it, you will find, wow, it just opens up new doors for you, opens up so much opportunities for you that you never thought it's possible before. According to Ellie, there are some things that hold people back from learning Chinese. Starting with time, a lot of people think that they do not have the time. However, that is not maybe the case for many. The second reason is being afraid of mistakes. However, mistakes can be an opportunity to learn and develop. Ellie also suggests an important point, which is investing in oneself's development, whether it's the mindset, skill set, or networking. The writing system is also another point that Ellie points out here. Let's see what Ellie has to say. Um, there are a few things I think hold people back. Um, the first thing I would say, lots of people don't see the value of investing in themselves. Um, we all know that if we want to go to the next level, we need to invest on three things, right? We need to invest on um, skill sets, mindset, and networking right and the amazing thing about learning a language is you learn the language you also can have more network opportunities so that's like two things right of the very um three things to get you to the next level 
you already have the language skills, which is a very important skill set, it's especially like learning Mandarin Chinese. Because look at the population, right? 1.4 billion people in China and 50 million people born in China and now they live in the Western world, all around the world. And another thing is there are around 200 million people learning Chinese or have learned Chinese for second language because China has a development and the economy is so powerful, right? People want, want to learn Chinese. I just had a um, student saying, um, he actually spoke to another English person, speak Chinese, they found out they both speak Chinese. So they made that um, special connection. So when you, when you learn to speak Chinese, you not only speak and network with Chi like people from Chinese background, you also can network with people that have been learning Chinese or used to learn Chinese because you have that special connection. Um, and another thing hold people back is, I think people don't want to make mistakes when they, when they speak another language. This is a big thing, right? Because who, who, want, who wants to look stupid? But what I would say is don't take yourself seriously, right? Because knowing that mistakes are just the learning process, right? We, we learn from our mistakes, so that's okay. And, and the, the nice thing about Chinese people is it doesn't matter how, how you sound. If you speak some Chinese, they will, wow, they will ap appreciate you so much. They're like, wow, you can speak Chinese. That's so special. They, they appreciate your time and effort to um, learn the language, right? Um, and another thing holding people back is, okay, so people all say Chinese is hard to learn. Let me tell you, um, the, the writing system looks complicated, but the good thing is you don't need to learn the characters, right, to be able to speak. You can just um, learn the, we call it pinyin, which means spell sounds. It's, it's the uh, phonetic part of the language. It's just like alphabet, right, Latin uh, letters. You just learn that, you'll be able to speak. How good is that, right? So it doesn't take that long. <laughs> People think they don't have time. But the truth is we all have time, right? We all have 24 hours. And did you realize how many minutes in that 24 hours? 1,440 minutes every day. So the question becomes, if it's a priority for you, if you know it will, it will open doors for you, uh, you will build new relationship with important people, and then it will give you so much more networking opportunities, would, would you be willing to spend like 20, 30 minutes a day to learn another language that will give you the edge on whatever you do, right? So. I think the question is not about, the issue is not about, we don't have time. If you set the priority, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it's doable, right? We have seen that Ellie focuses on three main points, time, application, and dedication. Do you think with time, application, dedication to language learning, you would be able to achieve the same results in 21 days? Waiting for your ideas and replies in the comments.